Hi, good morning and happy Mother's Day. I thought in honor of Mother's Day and the stay at home and how this will be a very different Mother's Day, I would look back and share with you my gallery talk and walk of my show, Les Donnes, The Women. It was meant to capture different women's roles in society, a lover, a friend, mother, sister, and everything you can imagine. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Enjoy, and I will see you tomorrow. Stay at home, stay safe, and stay attenti tutti. Enjoy and have a wonderful Mother's Day. The show is named La Donna, La Donne, which is Italian for the women. And so I wanted only to have women. Men could be in the image, but it had to have a woman. But these two are the protectors. When you go to a Renaissance building in Italy, or you know, after the high Renaissance, you'll notice, and even if you go to the Metropolitan Museum, they have a few figures, they have the the greeters, these statues that are in this big doorway that are out maybe with a thing of fruit in their hands. And they kind of will think of a gar gargoyle on the outside, like, you know, the, the lion on the outside of the building. So these two figures are welcoming you. So I tried to put them where you enter. Um, they're welcoming you. They're protecting you. And this is a passageway. This is, in love for me, the passageway to Italy, half Italia. And it's like the Ponte Vecchio, and I went to school there when I was a student in college. This uh, was my boyfriend. He's deceased, but he came from Sicily. And there's another connecting piece to this about him that has women in it. And he's on the L. The L, you know what the L is, guys? Is that an old bird for you? Yes, elevated train. Mm -hmm. So he's on the L right in the story of where I grew up. And um, you know, he actually lived there for a while. So it's it's like a passageway, the bridges, the transportation, you know, hopefully you can kind of hear the train and it's a passageway from both worlds and kind of to protect you and lead you in and lead you safely on your passage. So that's the point of these. Um, this is a beautiful young girl. <laughs> Notice, if you take a look later, I don't use, if, look at the whites of the, the paint, the white paint, and look at the black. And I named this um, girl with long black hair, but if you look at the hair, there's multicolors in it. It's a mixture of color. It's not just like a flat black paint. And I always try to I try to tell my students to do that you avoid that or using a stock white. But I love like snow paintings or paintings with black. Like even in here, there are other colors that are mixed in. You can see it coming through here to make that black. And this, I this just the position. I just like this. This this position. This Did you last. Say this? No, no, no. It's someone I know from Italy. But just that position of in the cafe, kind of sitting back, relaxed. Um, this woman is a veterinarian. She lives in Italy. It's just like looking out, inviting you in. Um, there's a few scenes like that that I have. Uh, these are just, you know, couples, um, you know, looking out. And this is four generations. It's a grandmother. I, I use a lot of vintage photos. Um, so it's the uh, great grandmother, the grandmother, the mother, and the child. This is reflections. This is of actually of my mom. And, and the, this the is wedding a, with the city yes, before the fair. Right yes, now. yes. So and it's just oh, they like the way that the white meshes, and uh, you'll see it. It's not so much in here, even though there are undertones, but the flesh tones, but here you'll see like a piece of the brown and the reds and greens and blues and the flowers. I just love yeah, working with when white. When you work with white, isn't there other colors in the white? That's what I was saying, the blacks yeah. and the whites. If you look close, you'll see black. the colors yeah. from this, yeah, that are blend. I always like to blend. What was so interesting to me, uh, someone came up, Judy came up. Oh. And I, she, we were talking about these two pieces. And uh, it's not really true, but she thought, she thought this was very, um, like, um, Spanish. Oh, and that yeah. this was very American. And I was, which, you know, there, it's, that wasn't really the case. But I think it was more like that warmth, the love, and this was more like, uh, you know. But I see, but this I see is, Loretta and Jennifer. This is, right is actually was from my sister, a black and white photo 
it's you know it's a yeah. form of yeah. occasion so you know you pose and that's more like yeah. girls night out so um yeah that could yeah. be spain because spain with the cafes and italy too but spain i think it's more yes more relaxed yes 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 and then we have the switch over in the show which a lot of people ask me about um this is part of a series um, that I did. With, it's actually based on a Paul Simon song, but um, it's more t about your psyche, you know. So you have like the male figure here, the, the woman and the fade, like that blending, and that you know, it's more like what's going on in your mind, it's more than a, a straightforward portrait. And uh, this is a floating figure like going into the earth and rebirth and there's a piece of the figure here and then it flows and there's actually other pieces to the series. Um, Very and reflective. It's more reflective. Uh, this is, was a study done for a painting. And what was very interesting, there was a woman here, I did talks for the college and uh, she was African and she thought she looked like a queen because uh, the way she was dressed and the, and, uh, the yeah. cornrows her hair and she said it looks like she's entering to go up the steps and I was like, uh oh, <laughs> 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 that was like, I don't know the person. Mm -hmm. um, this brings us back to Sicily. This is a proof. It's a, one of the, uh, it, it's the only, it's from a series of prints, but you can see it was just a full proof that I did, but it's the town that he was from. And if you look closely, you have like the three women in the center. There's a little bucket over here, and there's a little tiny woman there, and they're talking in the morning. I did this from a sketch, and this is an etching. So what you do um, is you put it in acid, and you burn in, and you get the different lights and darks. And that's also an etching. Yes, they're, they're just that. proofs. Yeah, that's beautiful. And now we really switch over. So uh, to this, these are my self-portraits. And they're not faces, um, but they're my objects. I did it on the New York Times because it's available, it was different. Uh, you can fold it, make it small or large. And I remember, which brings me back to my uh, mother, that actually was my mother in that first image in the front. Um, and it brings me back to, she, when I was younger, she told me they used to give a class in school. Someone came from the New York Times and would tell you how to like, read it on the train and how to fold it and everything. Oh, oh. So it can walk me full cool. circle. Yeah. And I like this because I, a lot of, I added a lot of blue to it, but my glasses, which I've always had to wear, <laughs> my hands. And uh, my shoes, I'm always, as a teacher, always on my feet. Uh, cell phones, they've changed <laughs> quite a bit, but this gives you the technology in the background. So I picked this page for that reason. And this is just a portrait of my shoes that I've done. So that's, that kind of concludes the, the talk.